Alright, hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome to a Medieval. So this is one of those games that I should have been playing a while ago. I should have gotten co contact with the developers slash publishers. They sent me emails, I apparently got them in my spam folder, and then didn't know about it until later. I'm like, oh shit, I should check my inbox, did I get a key for this? And the answer is, no, I got an offer for one, and then they never responded. I'm like, well, screw it, buying it myself. So let's, uh, Hordes of Evil, that sounds interesting. So... If it's not immediately obvious by the visual style of this game... Oh, hi, voice acting. Okay, so if it's not immediately obvious, this game is very intentionally old school. I would say late 90s, give or take. And so based on like old school Doom, obviously level design is going to be a little bit better. The graphics are going to be a little bit better, so on and so forth. Our difficulty- oh no! I don't want hard difficulty, I got a migraine. I don't want that in the slightest. Medium difficulty, normal enemies and pickups, easy difficulty. Uh, God, I don't know what difficulty I want to go for. I wonder if I can change the difficulty as I go. Hmm. Question, let's go. I should be fine. If I'm not, so be it. Okay. Perhaps this is not your destined path. Oh. Huh. Maybe it isn't. Let's go, let's go goofy. Let's just run and gun the shit out of things for a while. And if it turns out that this is too easy, I can always start over if we're really enjoying it. Travel to the Astral Equinox to pass through the gates. Huh, through this gate. What, how does any of this anything? Okay, I guess we're gonna just go this way. What was that? Portal to the Astral Equinox. Well, there's the answer. Press tab for portal locations. Oh, hi. Okay, cool. Okay, s something stronghold. Do I just hop down? All right. Oh, hi. Okay, so interesting thing. I've actually never played games like this. I was not much of a first person shooter when I, uh, shooter fan growing up, let alone like first person action. The first first person person anything I really played was, um, okay, that's pretty metal. Unfortunately, ow, the flash on getting hit kind of sucks, but, eh, we'll get used to it, maybe. Maybe I can turn it off. Oh, let's see, options, video. Uh, set resolution, I think we're on the right one. Okay, brightness, FOV, frame limit, overall quality, epic... Game, movement, strafe, warrior mode, auto soul mode. Auto run left-handed weapons. HUD, maybe. Soul glow. God, this is impossible for me to read. Not doesn't look like it. Oh. HUD options for flashing. Oh, screen flashes. Let's turn them to, like, 10%. Thank you. I, like I said, I can't read this font at all. I mean, I might be able to. That should be better for everybody. From the sacred waters, the, of the, uh, the Azure Orb was formed. Okay, so I have a limited amount of mana, so I can only use this for a short period of time. Got some more. I might still turn that further down. I'll have to decide. But yeah, never really got into first-person shooters until, like, high school, oddly enough-ish. Halo was, like, my first legit first-person shooter. I think before that, the only one I had access to was Chex Quest. Which, like, that's a bit of... No, 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 no. One exception. Command & Conquer Renegade. I played maybe too much Renegade. And enjoyed the shit out of this. I'm gonna go into the options one more time. We're gonna turn down the uh, sound effects. And we're gonna turn up the music. And we'll go from there. Okay. 
There we go. So what are you? I don't know. I'm going to grab the mana first. But yeah, so I played Command & Conquer Renegade, which actually looked a lot like this, but way less good. And I really enjoyed it, and then I never, like, touched another shooter for, like, a ridiculously long period of time, because not my kind of thing. Alt fire to engage soul power. Legendary soul. Soul power engaged. I'm... Okay, I guess we're just going. Sup? Well, I'm just gonna sit on this. Instead of anything else, and that's that's fine. But yeah, so, never really got into first-person shooters, especially the really old-school ones. I played a couple, but like, no Doom, no Quake. I didn't play Quake until, like, late middle school with friends. And at that point, I'd already played, like, through the Halo campaign, like... I think 12 some odd times. I never got into the competitive, nor did I care. Not really my kind of thing. Looks like there's secrets. We should keep an eye out for those. Who's the other guy? Excuse me. There we go. I think he hit me. Oh no, this... This dill whistle hit me. You stop that. I'm having a good time here. I don't want you getting in the way of that. Okay, soul power is super mode for your weapons. Got it. Okay, health is good. I don't know if we've got anything else left in the water. We have a little bit. But yeah, there's uh, maybe a sewer grate here. Deal whistle. Don't, don't try and like... Don't try and understand my like weird phrasing sometimes. It actually doesn't make sense. Uh, I... I have a, uh, fire upon the red rune above. Uh, I have a personal, I don't want to say a, uh, a personal goal to stop swearing entirely, but, like, I'm trying to come up with alternate swears that are not swears, because I'm not necessarily trying to be inclusive, but, bye! It's a lot easier to not swear in general if you don't even, like, Go with low level ones. Okay, there we go. And so it's a lot easier to call something a dill whistle, even though that I mean, it kinda makes sense. If you think really hard about it. Way forward lies both left and right. Oh. Okay, so I need the gold key. Gold key. So I don't think we've gone left yet. No, we most definitively have. Well, there's stuff up there though. I should check that out. But yeah, I, I'm, I just speak garbage and nonsense, and that's just normal. There's items up there. wonder if we get, like, movement tech abilities, like a double jump or anything like that. Wait, what? Just broken on both sides. Oh. We never... No, we did go this way. Okay. I am confused. Oh, I never went this way. This, this is new. Okay, I must have just gotten turned around. There we go. But yeah, now that I've, now that I've started uh, doing YouTubing and, and Twitch and stuff like that, it's like, I actually really like shooters. There just aren't a whole lot of them that really appeal to me. Most of them are very much like... I don't even know how to describe it. Most shooters tend to be on the, uh, well, competitive side of things. And I, I just don't have a competitive bone in my body. I, I don't really enjoy uh, facing off against another human being. I'm much more of a, like, here's some, like, dumb goober enemies. Let's wreck them. Picked up a giant soul and some more health. Cool. Oh, I see. One, two. I'm not sure necessarily what the souls are. I don't even know if I'm going to understand what the progression mechanics are in this game, but that's okay. I don't think I need to care. I think I can just, like, go at it, have fun for a while, and then make a lot of friends. Probably die. Ah! It really wants me to use... Uh, soul power. 
Soul and fire. Water and blood. Wander and... Might as well grab more ammo. Could go back that way. Looks like there's a couple of things out there that I haven't grabbed. Not sure. Okay, small green mana. Oh, is green mana ammo for soul? Maybe. 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 I don't know. I'll get used to this. But yeah, I haven't gotten into a whole lot of first-person shooters that, that I've, you know, had the pleasure of playing. Uh, Doom 2016 was definitely... Oh. Garbage. Oh, no. Okay. Doom 2016 was definitely, like, one of the most standout first-person shooters I've played in a while. And I'd absolutely love to play more games like that. And so this one... Actually, I guess the predecessor to this game was called Dusk. And I was actually pretty interested in playing that, but I just didn't have the time to. Uh, slash, like, I think I forgot about it. It was kind of one of those where it's just like, Oh yeah, that looks like a neat game. I wonder when it's coming out. And then it was like, Oh, it came out two months ago. Well, shoot. Let's see. Based on Hexen. Okay. Heretic and Hexen. Got it. Ooh, hi. Sword? Oh, green mana is for firing the sword. Got it. Okay, so I fell in here. From up there. Uh, oh, I know where we're going. I know what we're supposed to do. Perfect. Yeah, Doom was the FPS genre distilled into its purest form. Yeah, and it was incredibly satisfying. I'm really looking forward to Doom Eternal. Uh, but, you know, I've just been trying to look into other ones that kind of fit. Uh, fit the bill. I know there's the uh, the new Wolfenstein Youngblood or whatever it is, and I mean just any of the new Wolfenstein games. Oops. Yeah, there we go. You dick. I was going to use that bridge. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I know the w new Wolfenstein games look pretty rad. And I was pretty... I'm pretty excited for the co-op one, because I'll probably buy a copy for Shell and myself, and we'll just play through that. Uh, Doom Eternal. There's a couple other ones that I'm actually really jazzed for. Oh, I like this sword. A little expensive on the green mana, but I'll, I'll take what I can get. Uh, let's see. But what else am I excited for? There is... Oh, I talked about this in my E3 video. Uh... But they're the e Aeon of... It's not Aeon of Strife or something like that. Maybe it is? Uh, or no, not my E3 video, my PAX video. But yeah, there, there's a couple of really rad first... Oh, Bouncing Shot. Oh, that's exciting. That's real exciting. Haha, <laughs> I like this sword. It is effective, too. I, I... Oh, I see. Is it that blue meter that... No. I do not have any kind of timer that indicates when I get to use these things. But that's fine. Or how long I, I get to be boosted while I use it. That's a big something or other. I don't think it was actually useful, though. What if I do more damage if I hit him with the actual sword? Probably. Oh, picked up a large soul. Uh, let's see. And then, I know there's also Ion Maiden. Platform... Bastion of the Blue... Platform 2 Bastion of the Blue Moon. Oh, I see. That just warps me up to the... I got it. Okay. Well, I missed a lot of secrets, killed a lot of things, and I was kind of slow. But that's fine, because who gives a dang? I'm enjoying myself. Okay, Bastion of the Blue Moon. Oh, let's get, a, get my HP back and some green mana, because I'm probably going to use this sword for a while. Until we find some other stuff. What other games did I really enjoy lately? Uh, there were first-person shootery. There was uh, Project Warlock, which I thought was actually pretty good. I'm not going to be going out of my way for most of the secrets here. Well, dang it. 
I guess there's kind of a benefit to this. Maybe if I can get back, I get the distinct feeling I might be stuck down here for a bit. Secret area found? I found a trident. You may call me Poseidon. Your trident secret power does something. Uh, this font is unreadable for me. Okay, well it seems pretty rad, and I'm I'm assuming we've either jammed this thing halfway in our sternum, or we're, uh, we've replaced our dick with it. I will abide with either, honestly. Okay, well one way or another, can I read this? Voltride's secret power reveals with overkill. Fair enough. Ah! 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 But stop doing that. Oh, does it do like a... It does like a chain lightning. Okay. There. Now I'm on it. And I'm mildly lost. But that's okay, that doesn't really mean much of anything. Yeah, so it might not do as much damage as some of the other ones, but it's got a stun lock to it, which is kind of nice. Torch power up. Oh, that's nice. Oh, but it, it's temporary torch. Okay. How do... How... How many... How far do I have to go? Okay. Well, it didn't matter. I got out. Zappy. Overkill. Okay, well, I picked up a soul power. Pew. But yeah, Project Warlock was pretty good. Unfortunately, the level design on it got kind of garbage after a while. And I found myself, like, confused more than interested about how I was, like, supposed to navigate it. Because everything was a secret and also confusing. Probably should have actually used soul power to fight the dude, but you know what? Whatever. Oh, I see. I'm just supposed to sustain this. I'm not supposed to shoot it. What the? Uh, apparently soul power just makes you twirl the axe like a weird chainsaw. That's a kind of amazing, actually. Let's go back to the sword. Okay, so we know there's something over there. I was hoping that torch power up is actually just like a permanent thing, but no dice. Staff of the Azure Orb. Well, didn't did I already have one of these? Did that upgrade it? Well, I found the secret area, but I went straight past it. Let's try that again. Uh, maybe I can go up this way? Because, yeah, that's it right there. Mm, nope. Okay, I'll have to, like, jump around and grab some things and who knows what. Legendary soul. Oh, that's probably that meter down below my health bar. That's that's how I know how long I have soul-wise. Well, is this a door that I can open? No, I need the gold key. Can I get that to go away? I don't actually know if I can get that to go away, but that's that's okay. Over here. Uh, overheal is satisfying. Okay, there. Now it's now it's gone. I had to run the gauntlet. But yeah, I don't know. There, there's just some days uh, on like YouTube and Twitch that I I just really want to like blast things. And it's kind of a disappointment because there's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of like good 
first-person shooters that I can just, like, randomly load up. I guess there are a number, but they either get, like, bogged down in, like, weird campaign mode nonsense, or... Or they end up just being rather sluggish at times. Like, I really liked it uh, in Halo, specifically. How there didn't really feel like there was a whole lot of wasted time ever. Small orange mana. Okay. You know, it, it very much was, like, cool cutscene, interesting thing, a lot of exploration, and uh, a lot of violence. It felt good. I wish there was a difficulty mode for this, where it's just, just a lot of enemies, a lot of pickups. But I'm mostly fine with this. But today's just roguelike roulette day. Well, this isn't the roguelike roulette anymore. I uh, decided against it because Gungeon requires modding for me to enjoy it at this point. Oh! Do those actually home in? Maybe after they kill an enemy or something. Back to the sword. Now, today's a... Well, actually, this month in general is kind of weird. Uh, so... I'm sure you guys have probably heard me complain about, uh, June in the past. But June kind of sucks for YouTubers. And that's... I don't think there will ever be a time where it doesn't, like, just kind of suck for the for us. I mean, maybe there's some other people that are, don't mind it so much, but, uh... The problem is there's two main, main like, kind of gaming things that happen in June that more or less make it really hard to play anything new. Those who would worship the sun are blind. Righto. Screw the sun. Let's see, if you want to just shoot stuff like crazy, I got the perfect doom combo for you. Okay. Is it like a doom mod pack, or...? Because I am, I am potentially down. Just a matter of timing and a bunch of other things. Well, this is effective. Oh, this is wildly effective. I'm just going to run this while we've... Got the bonus running. Okay, and it seems like I've... Well, I killed everybody up here. Perfect! Uh, let's see. Summer is the season of nothing new, which sucks, because your birthday is June 19th, and all the game you want to play are releasing in the fall. But it's... It's really just... Uh, it's really just June, actually. Uh, there's quite a lot of games coming out in the next... Uh, in... In July and August. The main thing is, June has E3. So no one wants to announce or release anything in that week because it's just going to get overshadowed by actually just everything? And then, um... We should probably look around for any secrets in this immediate area, or I could just say screw it because we're going to get all the items anyway. Being secret obsessed is just going to slow things down, and right now I'm, I'm enjoying running and gunning. So let's run and gun as hard as I can. Uh, let's see. And I guess I'm maxed on ammo for this thing. Okay, uh, but yeah, so there, there's E3, so no one really wants to announce a whole lot or release a whole lot. You know, there are a couple of games like, um, uh, Cadence of High Rule that are gonna come out and be really freaking rad. But that's about the extent of it. Where's the... Where are the other enemies? There you are. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see. But yeah, so there will be a couple, like, Cadence of I Rule that come out, but most games that come out in June are usually, like, smaller indie games that aren't really thinking about, like, uh, ideal release times and so on and so forth. And or AAA games that, uh, the publishers are confident that the game will succeed regardless of the, uh, the awkward timing of it all. 
But usually it's like kind of experimental stuff that's like maybe trying to capitalize on like, hey, it's E3 and our game's out now and like, ah. But rarely will you actually see uh, big successful titles come out during that time. Oh, I wish the water wasn't so blue. Let's see. Anything interesting around here? A lot of health. And a foe. Uh, let's see. But uh, the other the other thing that comes out, and honestly, I might even say this is more impactful. How do we get out of here? Where did that guy come from? Oh, I, no, no, no. This is where I came from. So maybe something on this side and go up. Or, no, right here and go up. I got it. Uh, let's see. But uh, the other thing that's equally impactful is actually the Steam Summer Sales. Uh, I want to say June used to be better, but it could be wrong. Passageway to the Vaults of Midnight. How about this? Oh. Oh. Secret out. Well, that's fine. Don't care. I didn't kill everybody, and I definitely missed a lot of stuff, but that's okay. Let's see. Secrets are important. They mean early weapons in these sorts of games. I know, but it's also going to take me a while. If I... If I really cared about those, maybe uh, I'd spend the time, but I'm just here to run and gun, and just not slog. Okay, but yeah, the Steam Summer Sale is actually really bad for game releases, because effectively, you don't want to release your game right right around, like, a major sale period, because no one's going to want to buy your game. You know, why would you buy, why would you dump 60 bucks on... That's a good example. I don't have any. But yeah, why why would you dump 60 bucks on Wolfenstein New Blood? Uh, and admittedly, it is releasing pretty close. What does this say? Our leader, Guardian of the Moon, he now dreams of death and pain. Alright, that's grim. Is it implying that we have a boss there? Maybe. We might need a... We might need a key to get that open. Ish, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I guess Wolfenstein... Is it New Blood? It's whatever the co-op one. That one's coming out in July, so I guess there might it might not be that big of a deal, but... Uh, you know, if you can get Wolfenstein... You know... All of the previous Wolfensteins for five bucks, you might not be as inclined to pick up the, the latest one and you just satisfy yourself with the old one. Uh, maybe not. that's not the best logic, but like, you know, why would you pay 60 bucks for a, uh, a brand spanking new AAA game when you can very easily pick up Doom 2016 for 5 bucks or something like that. I was actually kind of mad about that because that went on sale for like bupkis after like a month and I paid full 60 for it and I was like, oh, come on. You have to be very selective with what you buy. Limited funds. Yep. Also, thank you, Jambas, for the 500 bits earlier. I think I thanked you already, but I'm going to thank you anyway. Just because it bears repeating. Let's see. Midnight, moonlight, sun be gone. Righto. Switch to the staff. I like the... I like the sword. But variety is the slice of pickle. Okay. What the? Oh, they're exploding. They might hurt me. I'm not sure. Worth it. And I'm out of mana for it. But that's okay. It was worth it. Anybody else want to mess? I think not. I think I'm stuck down here, which sucks a little bit. But that's okay. Oh. But yeah, so that entire time period really just kind of sucks. Uh, it sucks butt for me as a as a professional YouTuber or whatever. Uh, because I make my living largely off of, like, new games. And so when I'm suddenly put in a position where there's, like, nothing going on, I'm more or less scraping at the bottom of the barrel or just kind of playing whatever the hell I want for a little while. Which actually, I mean, truly being able to play whatever the hell I want is actually really cathartic. Uh, but it does hurt a little bit on the bottom line's standpoint. Okay. Just keep jumping across these? I guess we do. 
grabbing that orange mana for a little while and not just go flying off. Let's see. Buy games at launch if I want to support the devs. Did that with Pathfinder Kingmaker. That is a game that I'd like to go back to. Especially now that I've heard they've really, like, fixed it up. I'm gonna use the axe for a little while. Maybe. Problem is, like, I'm gonna get shot. Do I, like... I might charge enemies. That's interesting. Ooh. Full health. Unfortunately, CRPGs are one of those that take forever for me to finish. So it's hard for me to, like, really commit to them. You stop that. Ah! Hi! Ow. There we go. Okay. Why you know elevator? Elevator? There we go. I was wondering about that. This looks dodgy, but nothing. Alright. And that's where that dude was shooting from. Uh, let's see, anything else in here? I'm like, kind of trying to keep an eye out for secrets, but I'm not seeing too much. We'll find what we can. And we'll probably find next to nothing. I'll just go with the pew pew tridents. Satisfying. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so super long-winded explanation as to why the why the heck I'm playing this today. And also, it is actually sort of new. I think it came out of early access recently. Which is enough of a justification for me to play this. Because yeah, I don't get to play a whole lot of first-person shooters. Especially really freaking good ones. Okay, so that's just soul power. There we go. I like the fact that you can mantle in this game. You wanna... wanna just decease? Yeah. I love the, uh, I love the fact that they'll explode. And zap their, their allies. They go pop. Okay, do we go down? Let's look around a little bit more. No, it doesn't look like there's... I hear enemies around. But I'm in a kind of gotta go fast move. Mood. Move. Bounce murder! Skunk these fools. I guess it didn't really work the way I wanted it to, but that's okay. It is satisfying, nonetheless. Is there anything else? I feel like this is the kind of place I should check out a little bit. Problem is, abject darkness is really hard to, like, su uh, suss out where the secrets are. Yeah, that's where I came from. And, like, I might be able to blasto my way through some of these, but... Yeah, I ain't seen much. Let's see, sword? Eh, yeah, we'll go sword for the time being. On the scale of Doom 2016... 1 to Doom 2016, where, I, where would I put this? I mean, honestly, it's really hard to match up with Doom 2016. I would put this solidly in the, uh... Hmm. Interesting question. I don't know. I will have to think about that a little bit more. I'd probably give it like a... So, one thing is like, I've never liked the uh, scale of 1 to 10 because the games industry has skewed it in a really bad way. I'm, I'm sure you've looked at like IGN or something like that and been like, man, why is this game got like an 8? It's garbage. 
And it's because they don't want to be, like, too dismissive, because they'll piss off a developer. And only, like, the most heinous of games will actually end up getting, uh, the correct rating, I guess? And even then, they might get bra brigaded down into the ground, uh, just to make a point. I think I just jibbed the lot of them. Whoops. Okay. Meant to take that a bit slower. Jumped a little bit... Well, not too far, but still. Okay. I like the alt fire. I almost wish it was just uh, a regular alt fire, though. The... I think it's Aeon of Strife. Is the other first person... Sh uh, shooter that I'm really looking forward to that's coming out soon-ish. And, uh, that one specifically, every weapon has a has an alt fire and they all feel real good. Solar Acolytes think they are so great. Is this just graffiti from some, like, grumpy person here? Like, they think they're so great, but what they don't realize is that Baphomet is the real true god, and it's just freaking cult nerds yelling at each other. It's probably the case, actually. Which amuses me to no end, but still. But yeah, so I don't really do number scales particularly well. I I put it somewhere on the... How the hell am I supposed to get to that soul? I don't know. But yeah, I would definitely give this like a 7, probably. It's enjoyable. I mean, I'm really enjoying just, like, running around blasting things. The level design seems pretty good, but it lacks that, like, you walk into a room with a bunch of enemies, the, the metal music just kicks in, and you're just wrecking, wrecking face for a solid minute and a half, or something like that, and then kind of move on. I think it's a bit of a shame to n not have that, sort of. Because it's fun. The enemies are cool. But I really did enjoy kind of the moments of peace and then utter violence that, uh, that Doom would chuck at you. But as far as, like, shooters go, uh, especially, like, old-school homage shooters, pretty good. So, the Vaults of Midnight. <laughs> I'm garbage at finding secrets. And that's okay. Okay, Lunar Sanctuary. I want to fight one boss. And then I'll truly, like, give my full impressions. This feels like a boss fight. This has got to be a boss fight. I love the set design. Oh, shouldn't be down there like that. That's where I get cornered. Was that it? Yeah, I probably should be playing on a harder difficulty. Did I not, like, get anything from him? Just a couple of souls? Guess so. Oh, let's get my HP up. Well, all right, moon. It's cool, moon. Oh, nope. God dang it, elevators. Okay. Try this. We. There was a secret in there. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 